how are you doing today? I am recording from a freezing Santiago this morning and but with a great new because today I'm launching a new product, a new um, set of patterns for you to color and also to learn how to combine colored yarns without uh, struggling, just following a few very simple steps. So this set of patterns comes from a blog post I did a few weeks ago, very interesting because uh, it detailed three rules uh, that you can follow to achieve um, successful colored yarn combinations. Because you know there is a theory, there is a color wheel, there is a lot of um, technical uh, information or um, technical guides you can follow to know how to combine your colored yarns. But the truth is that when you go to the shops, you just find the yarns that they are there. You can you cannot choose the colors, but you have to combine them in order to make um, uh, your ribbon pieces. Um, especially when you love combining colored yarns, when you love to have uh, combinations and not only solid colors. So you can use variegated yarn, of course, but also what about plate? What about uh, mixing more than three, five, six colors? So this pattern set has real examples uh, following these three rules and you can follow them, learn how to um, and to understand the main principles and then reply that in your own color combinations. So if you struggle with the color wheel, technical information, and you just want to make easy and fast color combinations, but successful, but amazing, um, you can use this uh, 15 patterns, this set, to understand how this uh, fast method works and then just reply it um, by choosing the correct yarns in your own um, collection of yarns in your home or when you go and buy them in the shops. So would you like to see the pattern set? Come and see. So here I have my new pattern set, 15 stunning color combinations. So how does it work? We have here um, four pages at the beginning, which are mainly instructions. The two first ones are instructions, uh, details where from where you can download um, instructions to learn how to weave on the bias, and the yarn required, um, all the specs you need for to follow this um, pattern set. Then you have a picture of one sample I made using one of the color combinations and also the one that is for free, so that you can free download it and try it out with your yarns at home. And the fourth page is a plain template you can free download too, and you can color it and make your own color combinations. But then what do we have? We have the 15 stunning color combinations and each five of them um, belong to one color rule. These three color rules, I detail them in the blog post that is detailed in this video. And the interesting thing about it is that with very tiny, simple steps, you can make successful color combinations. So I'm going to talk about each one of them. So here, rule number one says neutrals and colors of the same saturation work fine together or are combined. So what same saturation means? Well, saturation refers to the intensity of a color in an image. So when the saturation increases, the color appears to be more pure or bright. As saturation decreases, the color appears to be washed out or pale. So here I made this color combination, these five colors, pink, purple, cyan, um, green, and ochre and they have the exact same saturation, you can confirm that by half closing your eyes while looking at them, so no one appears more bright than the other. That is the way I 
you, I usually confirm that the saturation is quite similar. In this case, I did this in the computer through Adobe Illustrator, so I know that it is for real, but the important thing is that you can apply this concept in real germs and you don't have um, the technical information of each color. So half closing your eyes can be a method to confirm that the saturation is closer between different colors. So here I have this five colors and then I have the five um, neutral ones, which are white, black and shades of gray. So what I did was choosing one or two neutrals and then one or two colors of same saturation uh, regarding this color palette of five. So I have here one color combination with three. So the thing is that the combination works if you follow this rule. And this the number five is the one that I gave for free. Okay. Then you have rule number two that says that tone over tone works. What does it mean? Tone on tone means um, that if you go to the shops and you just go randomly um, looking for same tone, for example, shades of blue, shades of turquoise, uh, shades of whatever color you want, it may work that combination. Of course, no more than three because uh, you need a bit of contrast or the combination won't be noticeable but uh, two or three will be just fine. So what you can also do is mix in, mix in those uh, tone on tone combinations. For example, if you choose like here, um, green tone on tone and also fuchsia tone on tone, you can put them together and you have four colors. Here I have one with um, greens and then here again, tone on tone with two different color combinations here again three tones and two tones at the end and finally the third rule which is called it's all about proportion so what does it mean it means that um, you have chosen five colors with the same saturation okay and but you're not sure you think they combine you think that saturation is the same but because one of the color rules says that if the colors have the same saturation, they will combine together, okay? But you're not sure, so you just design a very simple pattern and you um, combine, for example, three of those colors and then you change them to see if they still work. So if that happens, you are, test you are confirming that they... Um, combine for one side but the most important thing is sometimes another proportion works better so that way you can find a better a better um, combination and also see if they work together so in this case i did a very simple design very symmetrical of course and then i just change you know i have a cyan here and then i change it by green and then I change the, the, um, the purple and the background for by cyan and then whatever, something very similar. So again, I was trying to show that uh, it's all about proportions when you combine color yarn and uh, the changes you can make with just a few colors you have chosen with the same saturation. So now that you know how it works, here is an example. This is one of those patterns, but instead of doing a plain width or doing the basic stitch, I mixed three stitches, the simple double stitch and also a rainbow stitch. So I'm going to um, show you this step by step in the next video. But um, what I want you to remember now is that here I am using this method. I am using uh, neutrals, which is the black and the white, and then contrasting colors, which are, which are all these two tones. So this is a very simple example you can try out. I am uh, mixing the stitches so you can see that you don't have to do plain weave all the time because the color combination will work in any stitch. It's just about um, the contrast, the proportions, the using of neutral colors, etc. I also made this one because this is the one that is free for you to try out 
and uh, apply the concept to your own color combinations. So I hope you like it and hope you uh, want to know more about color combinations in a next video, in a next um, blog post and let me know if you like this, if you like to know more about color combination, if you're struggling with it and of course if you make this sample, a similar one using the um, neutrals and also contrasting colors, that would be great, you can share it with us. So see you in the next video, bye bye!